In this video, we are going to look at binomial distribution questions. So we'll look at some common IB maths exam questions that involve this topic, and we'll look at the, the key formulas and concepts that we need to know to solve them. Okay, so what we're looking for in a binomial distribution question is firstly, they're going to give you some probabilities and also a number of trials. As soon as you see a number of trials and some probability, uh, we know that it's a binomial distribution question. So the number of trials, let's use an example, I'm going to flip a coin 10 times. So the number of trials, n will be 10. And the probability of getting a head, the heads in the coin, and this will be my success. Uh, this will be a bias coin, so I'm going to make the probability 0.6 of flipping a head. Now, in a binomial distribution, we want to think about what this word means. Bi it stands for two. So we're going to always have two probabilities. Some success probability, which in this case will be heads. And the opposite to the success, which is the failure, will just be one minus this. So binomial distribution questions, they're not going to be a bunch of different probabilities. It'll just be a success and then a failure. And if we know the success probability, the failure will just be 1 minus that, which will be, in this example, 0 0.4. Okay, so heads will be a success for this question. And once we know the number of trials and the probability of success, we can solve a bunch of questions. So what's typically asked after this is they'll say, well, what's the probability that the number of heads that we get? So let's just say our random variable is how many, uh, how many heads we'll get in the 10 flips, what's the probability this is equal to 3? So you might think, oh, okay, that could, ha that could happen a bunch of different ways. We could get uh, 3 heads early on and then 7 tails, or we could get 3 heads at the end and then 7 tails at the start. Well, there's actually a lot of different ways. And the mathematical way of finding uh, the formula to find this answer is actually quite complicated. And it's this one up here. And lucky for us, our calculator does do a lot of this work for us. So I'm going to show you how to do it on your calculator, and then I'll refer back to the formula to see where we, we got these numbers from. So we want to go to our calculator. Now, you can just open up a new calculator section. And if you go to Menu, Probability, you want to find your Distribution section of your, of your calculator. And this is a binomial question. And we're either going to be using binomial PDF or CDF. Now we use binomial PDF when we want to find the probability of getting a, a, an exact amount of heads or, or whatever variable you want. So in this case, we want exactly three. And if it's the exact number, we want to use uh, binomial PDF. So let's use PDF. It asks us for the number of trials, which is 10. The probability of success. Now success here would be getting a head. And the probability uh, of success, we want this to happen three times, and this will give us the answer, 0 0.0425, 0 0.0425. Now, if you're very interested in how this formula appeared, what actually is happening is we couldn't get three, we could get three heads out of 10 in 10 C3 ways. This is the combinations component of this formula. And then a head has a probability of 0 0.6. And we know we had three of these. So 0 0.6 and 0 0.6 and 0 0.6 to the power of three. And then it would be tails 0 0.4 to the power of, and there were seven of them. And then this is the complex formula which got us this answer. And that's what this is actually saying up here. The probability that our random variable is R, which is N, the number of trials, C, R, the probability of success to the R, and then the other probability to the N minus R. So this is quite a complex formula, but uh, if we use the calculator and you use the binomial PDF, it will solve it for us. Okay, so if we said the probability that X is equal to, let's say, 7. We can use our calculator again, and what we're going to get is probably a, a higher probability. Because if we if we have a probability of getting a head as 0 0.6, and we have 10 trials, uh, three was getting three heads would be pretty unlucky. But getting seven would be would be more likely. So if we were to do the same step, I would assume we'd get a slightly higher probability. Let's go to distributions, binomial PDF, 
we have 10, 0 0.6, then we have 7, then we have 0 0.215 this time, 0 0.215, okay. Now, if they asked for, well, what's the probability you get three or more heads? So x is now greater than or equal to three. So that means we could get three heads or four heads or five, all the way up to 10 heads out of the 10 trials. And if we have a group of scores, we use binomial CDF. So we go and find the one below it in distributions and CDF has the lower bound and upper bound. So the number of trials will still be 10. We'll have 0 0.6. Now the lower bound, we want three or more. So we'd have three and the upper bound would be 10 out of 10 heads. And this is very likely, it's very likely. So we'll get a probability of 0 0.988, 0 0.988. So that's what uh, that's when we use binomial PDF and CDF. Uh, PDF finds a particular number of, of heads we want to get, and CDF is a group of numbers that we want to get. And the other two formulas that you see here, the mean and the variance, uh, these, these are pretty simple formulas, these ones. What this mean is, it mean is the same as the expected value, and that just says that, well, if we do... 10 trials and each trial has a probability of 0 0.6 how many are we expected to get and then that formula i think makes sense it would just be uh, 10 times 0 0.6 which would be six and we would expect to get six heads if we flipped it 10 times and the probability was 0 0.6 so this formula uh, the question will ask for the expected value or the mean and it just means we multiply the number of trials by the probability and then some questions, these are a little, uh, these aren't as common, a little bit more rare, but if it asks for the variance of a binomial distribution question, it's just uh, the same formula as above, but we need to multiply uh, our n and p by the other probability, the failure probability. So it'll be np, so our variance will be 10 times 0 0.6 times 0 0.4, the opposite probability to the success. And we can solve that on our calculator and get some decimal answer. Okay, so this is a brief introduction to this, this topic. Uh, I recommend you uh, find those, those buttons on your calculator, whatever calculator you are using. And you should be able to, just with those buttons, uh, solve a bunch of the easy and medium uh, questions in IB Maths exams. Okay, good luck.